Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Our today's lecture is about the theme of the story Breakfast by John Steinbeck. Uh, we had already discussed the symbolical importance or allegorical interpretation of the story in the previous lecture. In this lecture we will try to discover the theme, message or the moral appeal of the story or it can be in stated as why do you like the story breakfast breakfast is a story of innocent hospitable and pure people in this age of materialism and lust for more and more the purity simplicity satisfaction and contentment of the poor people was not only impressive but also inspiring morally the cotton pickers in the story were such great people that uh, who were quite happy and satisfied with what they have although they had very little but they were contented they were not very rich yet they were satisfied uh, they didn't believe in the complexities of modern lifestyle there was no pomp and show of urban life in their simple and pure country life they were so pure at heart that after 12 days labor they felt quite happy they were very happy for earning very small amount of money through cotton picking they offered to the writer to join with them in cotton picking was solid proof of their honesty selflessness and purity the members of the family had no complaints against anyone on account of their poverty they were humble simple hospitable and straightforward in all of these reasons prove that this story is very interesting and readable dekhiye aaj kal ki jo daur hai bahut hi zyada materialistic hai आप अक्सर देखें जिनके पास जॉब नहीं होती वो हमेशा कर्ज करते रहते हैं या अपनी किस्मत को इल्ज़ाम देते हैं या सिस्टम को ब्लेम करते हैं बट देर इज़ नथिंग लाइक दैट इन दैट स्टोरी इट शोज दैट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन लाइफ इज़ कॉन्टेंटमेंट इफ़ अ मैन हैज़ कॉन्टेंटमेंट ही कैन बी हैप्पी इवन ही हैज़ नो हाउस नो जॉब नो फोटो एट सो द थीम ऑफ दिस स्टोरी इज कॉन्टेंटमेंट Uh, a man can be happy even if he has no house no job the faith of the poor man in the story is the element of great beauty which the writer speaks of he is impressed by the cheerful contented life of the poor cotton pickers the breakfast with the cotton pickers becomes a cherished memory for him there is a lesson in the story for those who are not satisfied with their lot and they grumble at their lot at their fate or god it teaches them to be thankful for what they have instead of grumbling against the will of god the simple honest cotton pickers are very hospitable they love to share their things with others it is said that sharing is caring they cordially welcome guests uh, the writer has related that very important message with his personal experience and uh, it uh, can be a lesson for all of them who want to live a peaceful and happy life okay students so uh, our next question is which story is uh, also Uh, criticism on city life on modern life in the story the writer has indirectly criticized the people who think that the only things can bring happiness the writer relates his own personal experience to prove that things don't bring happiness it is our attitude towards god and life that ensures happiness and the cotton pickers in the story are satisfied fellows they didn't have any complaint or anger against any person or agency because of their poverty they were happy with the little living they had they had been eating good food just for 12 days but they were grateful to god the older man said while eating god almighty its good contentment and gratefulness to god was their wealth they were able to buy new clothes for working after 12 days it was very easy for them to become happy on their favor from god they didn't need much to be happy so this story is basically a criticism on modern age particularly on city people who think that things bring happiness our nowadays our city life is very boring and polluted modern men have become very busy in their monotonous lives they ignore the simple and beautiful aspects of nature in this murky atmosphere of corruption sin and crime many peace loving people in the cities like to go to the simple and pure life that's why uh, we people built our farm houses farm house bana lete hain na dekhe paisa kamaya sare zindagi phir ja ke farm house mein rehte hain 
अपने वीकेंड्स पे अपनी छुट्टियों में वेकेशन पे पीस ऑफ माइंड के लिए सो आ लाइफ ऑफ पॉम्प एंड शो कैन नेवर ब्रिंग पीस ऑफ माइंड एंड इनर हैप्पीनेस दैट वी फाइंड इन द लाइफ ऑफ द पोअर पीपल आप जितना भी पैसा कमा लें हाई फाई बढ़ने की कोशिश करें इससे हमारा पीस ऑफ माइंड और हार्ट नहीं खरीद सकते हम लोग सो इन दिस स्टोरी द राइटर मेक्स कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द लाइफ स्टाइल एंड द मैनर्स ऑफ द कॉटन पिकर्स एंड द रिच पीपल ऑल दो दे वर लिविंग इन द जंगल दे वर सेल्फलेस एंड सिंसेयर पीपल दे वर सिंपल सेटिसफाइड दे हैड नो जेलसी इल विल अगेंस्ट एनी बडी दे डिडेंट शो एनी ग्रम्बल एट द फेट इन शॉर्ट द स्टोरी इज़ अ क्रिटिसिजम ऑन मॉडर्न लाइफ यू कैन ईजिली कंपेयर मॉडर्न लाइफ एंड सिटी लाइफ एंड रूरल लाइफ इन दिस स्टोरी दिस इज़ द वेरी मैसेज ऑफ द स्टोरी और यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन दिस स्टोरी इन आ क्वेश्चन हाउ डज जॉन स्टाइन बैक प्रजेंट सिंपल एंड कंटेंटेड लाइफ ऑफ द पोअर विलेजेस इन द स्टोरी ब्रेकफास्ट ठीक है ही कॉल्स दिस मीटिंग वेरी प्लेजेंट आई होप यू हैव गॉट दिस स्टोरी स्टे टून फॉर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स इन केस ऑफ एनी क्यूरीज यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी Take care of yourself and your families. Allah Hafiz till next lecture.